I remember coming down here as a little fella. It was neat to see all the cousins that lived all the various places other than the place where I lived in Los Angeles. And we would get together and have mega fun playing and bonding and I would hate to go when it was all over with, you know. That was exciting. The older folks, the elders, they are old, good cooks. You can't find cooking like that nowadays. We got to playing, but all the cute boys were related, so you couldn't do your little flirting or you couldn't do anything out of turn. And I remember my dad saying that him and his brothers had to travel 200 miles to find girlfriends because everybody was related here in Nicodemus. As I've gotten older and come to find out that those first original settlers that came here from um, Kentucky, they were freed slaves. It's a must that every descendant of Nicodemus go and see our heritage, where we come from. My first time, I just broke down and cried, and I'm getting emotional right now just thinking about walking on what I call hallowed ground, where our great-great-grandparents were slaves farming and working inside the house. And so we call it the Emancipation Celebration here in Nicodemus. And so um, that celebration had been going on a year after it was founded, 1878, and continues on to this day to where all the people from across the United States come back. When I come back, I get a feeling of refreshing my freedom. Something is lifted off my shoulders from the big city of Denver, Colorado. I feel just at peace. It's the tranquility, the serenity, the birds. You see the stars at night, every star in the sky. It's just beautiful. And I want to find out more so my children, who are grown, and their children will be able to say, well, Nicodemus, if they see it in the book, oh, that's where my great-great-grandfather came from. I love Nicodemus, and I thank God for our ancestors. The hardships that they went through, I feel that it's a need to let other descendants know of our rich history and how we came to be 